Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love. This is going to be the sixth and final timeless intuitive messages of the journey of the soul via the major arcana. Ooh, we have made it. We have made it to this part of our journey. Things being revealed that were once concealed, wishes coming true, healing, blessings coming in, the divine feminine, divine masculine within you coming into balance, divine partnerships coming together. Uh, life is beautiful again, rising above, seeing things from a spiritual perspective, leveling up spiritually, coming to a higher vibration, living in this new world, this new new opportunities. There is Things have been decided. It's judgment day. If you've been doing the work and cleaning up your act and bringing yourself into balance, you are definitely being blessed. I'm going to read what each card says. The star card. I am always growing with wisdom and spiritual knowledge. The moon. I use my intuition and intelligence to guide me at all times. The sun. I am blessed with the gift of life. I am free to create a life filled with joy, open and connected to God and the universe. Judgment. I awaken to the timelessness of body, spirit, and soul. All illusions are shattered. I love that. All illusions are shattered. Shatter them now. So we're going to go over the different aspects of this card, and I'm going to pull some of the different cards that represent this from the different decks I have and give you intuitive guidance, channeled messages, and also we're going to pull from other decks to give us a little more information of what's going on for you, the general collective, during this time. I appreciate your support on my channel, sharing it, sharing these videos, liking, commenting. I encourage you to listen to the whole series as we are always walking this path. Things are always changing and there's always things to learn and there's always ways to grow and level up. I'm excited about all of this. I'm excited for all of you and I just want to give my love and appreciation to all of you. Okay, the star card. I love the star card. Um, it's an Aquarius card, and my daughter's an Aquarius. I have special Aquarius people in my life. I have an Aquarius moon, but and also my birthday is the seventeenth, and I, of course, just have always liked that number. Uh, you know, it adds up to an eight, and I'm going to do a special birthday message that you're going to understand that the power of eight when you look look for that. Um, whenever you're listening to this, uh, be looking forward to it or look for that message because there's a lot of power going on manifesting and I want to help you guys manifest. Um, okay, the star card, inspiration, guidance, creativity, the past, rewards, energy, and happiness. When you're feeling good and aligned in allowing yourself to receive these blessings and you're feeling inspired by spirit and you're following the guidance and you have clarity of purpose and great potential. That's how you feel. The water symbolizes creativity and its flow, memory of what you've learned, memories of the past, taking that wisdom forward, the past and present come together so that you can take what you've learned, the lessons, and move on. It's a very nurturing card, reminding you to take care of yourself, bring yourself into balance, allow yourself to heal, do something nice for yourself. Ideas flourish and you create the fertile conditions for success and happiness. And, and it is wishes coming true. If, you're, if it's a reversed feeling of it, it's a creative or emotional block. Those times in your life when it seems like a project or a partnership loses its way and it's not really doing um, all it can for you and it's not for highest and best, so you need direction. But beware of those who cultivate you for their own purposes. Beware of people who manipulate you and want to take advantage of you. Um, you may need to step out of the illusion and search for your star elsewhere. So if things don't seem to be working out and you've tried everything, just try it a different way. Maybe there's a different partner out there that would be better for you in love or business or friendships, whatever the case may be. But it's you taking control of your life and knowing that you deserve this happiness and you deserve to be rewarded for all the work that you've put in. And there's just a few cards. Um, and actually, let's see. So I like every card in this deck right here because it's a good representation. That's you knowing who you really are. That's that inner you, that inner light shining so bright so that others can see this clarity and truth and healing that's exuding from you and having hope, hope for the future. 
hope for your dreams, hope for your life, hope for yourself, believing in yourself again. The moon is all about the shadows, right? Bringing the shadows up to the surface. They're all part of us and transforming them into the light. So meeting yourself, looking at yourself. We all have shadow aspects. We all have light aspects. So you're, you're transforming the shadows into the light. And look at this. And then the sun card, the light, right? So it's, it's hope for, for transforming the shadows into the light, giving you that clarity that you need and the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free and bring things into balance. It's time to speak your truth. It's time for the scales to come into balance. Justice is being served and the truth is um, allowing for this final judgment day that you deserve these wishes to come true. You deserve this abundance that because you've been doing the work and you're following the light. You're following your path. You're allowing yourself to receive and be restored. Okay? Let's talk about the um, the moon and the sun. Okay, what I like the moon and the sun to me are divine partners. That's the divine feminine, the divine masculine within you, and coming together in a twin flame soulmate type union. The sun and the moon. The moon is cutting through illusions, psychic awakening, making decisions, um, seeing things for the truth, and in, in facing your fears. It's all about boundaries, showing that limitations may be self-imposed. The emotional moon symbolizes intuition. Your dreams may hold guided messages. So paying attention to your dreams, paying attention to what's coming to the surface, balancing the shadows and light within. A reversed feeling of the moon would be like uh, you don't trust yourself. You're looking to the outside world and others for answers and not going within. Over-dependence over on a mentor. Um, or someone in your life, like codependencies, uh, it can be deceptive energies. So don't settle for second best. You know, allow yourself to see the truth. Or that's where the sun comes in, the masculine sun. Success, recuperation, happiness, vitality, growth. And the sun comes in to help heal those things when you face your fears and help you see the truth about yourself. It's success. It's time for good things in life and love and sunshine and rest and play. There may be trips in store for you. It's a honeymoon period of a relationship, feeling like, you know, in love or resurgence of that love, feeling like a child again, innocent and carefree. It could signify children coming into your life as well. And it's just, um, it, just feeling nurtured and happy, joyful, growth, abundance. The reverse meaning would be delay and frustration. The goal being out of reach, work or illness obstructs plans. Um, the, the paradise you had envisioned is uh, feels like it's slipping away. You know, maybe there's a change in travel plans or a relationship does not materialize. But it's really up to you to focus on what makes you happy and know that if something doesn't work out, if a partnership doesn't work out, if things in business don't work out, there's a better reason for that. There's something better for you. And the sun is literally shining in on your life. Uh, allowing you to have this clarity and truth to move forward. So we're going to look at a few more cards here as I just talked about that. Okay, the star card. I love this card because it's like, look at your love and your wishes and dreams are on wings and they're coming down from the universe and you're being blessed and refreshed and re your time to recover and your wishes are basically being poured upon you. Love is being poured upon you from the universe. You know, this is you working your magic, seeing the truth, using the law of attraction. This is good magic. This is bringing things into fruition, manifesting what you want, facing your fears, knowing the truth, letting go of the old, and manifesting the new, cutting through the illusions. And look at this beautiful, brilliant sun card. This is you shining, the shining star that you are. Someone stepping out into the spotlight, being on the stage. Someone I, maybe is in a show, dancing, singing with all the headdress and costumes. and Or you just go stepping out of the box. And look at this. This is you. And then this is the higher self you coming into union and working together on those creations creative projects, uh, speaking your truth, speaking in front of others. Maybe you have a YouTube channel or something you're working on, maybe a clothing line I'm hearing, but there's something out there that you're creating and it's like 
your higher self, the infinite intelligence of the universe is working with you. I want to look a little closer on the side here is it says you set the context for your life. Wow. And the writing is so small, it's difficult for me to see, but it has little writings like positive affirmations, reminding you to be gracious for what you have, write down what you're thankful for, and really tap into that creativity that you have. And you're very powerful right now, feeling very vital and on, like you're on fire, you're ready. And this is judgment rising above, spreading your wings, rising above the shadows, the crap, the dark night of the soul, and rising above, this is you in the light, and it's time, it's time to move on, it's time for freedom. I love this star card because it's just beautiful the way that the stars just kind of really stick out. This is your wishes coming true, even old wishes coming true that you, you know, maybe forgot about. And, and again, keeping your faith alive, keeping the hope alive, knowing who you really are, standing in your power. Something that has been concealed is going to be revealed in the next full moon. So pay attention to your dreams. Something that was been concealed is going to be revealed to you and you're going to get the clarity you need to move on into these happy times. This is you singing, dancing. Maybe you play the guitar, the ukulele or something of that sort. Maybe you're learning how. This is you multitasking. Look at all those hands. Look at all the different things that you can accomplish when you're standing in your power, when you're standing in your truth, when you're leveling up spiritually and crown the king or queen that you are it's happy times ahead and clarity on the things that maybe we were fearing looking at is what brings us those happy times believe it or not that's what helps face your fears face it face yourself you've got this you have an opportunity to paint the world whatever color you want you have the opportunity to spread your wings and fly you have the opportunity to purify your life detox frogs are about purification detox and prosperity you have all you need to create this beautiful life that you want this is your opportunity spirits giving you the opportunity to move on we're going to talk a little bit about judgment Self-judgment, renewal, truth, forgiveness. The past is the past. Letting go and moving into this brand new life. Judgment predicts a significant life change as a project or relationship reaches conclusion. Before you can leave the past behind, you may need to examine the conscious and review your previous actions. Judgment offers second chances and an opportunity for forgiveness, along with financial reward for past efforts that will keep your future success. Events are about to speed up. So whatever you've been working on, whatever seeds you've been planting, they're about to come into full bloom. Um, if it's if you're feeling like you're more in the reversed or you want to know a little bit more about the reversed meaning, because we've all been in it in different times of our life, I'm sure, it's delays due to the past getting in the way, the fear of change, focusing too much on the past, not allowing ourselves to transform judging yourself too harshly, being too critical, um, allowing others to disregard your contribution, putting you down, uh, you know, really knocking you down, cutting you down. Uh, and although this may be an excuse for not being able to let go too, you know, holding on to codependencies, addictions, different relationships that aren't serving you. So it's time to, if you're in this energy, it's time to re-examine your attitudes and overcome feelings of guilt. What counts is what you believe about yourself. So what are you telling yourself? What do you believe about yourself? Um, it's time to clean up those thoughts because you are worthy and you do deserve love and you do deserve abundance and you have you have what it takes to move forward on your path. You, you, you are enough. The star. Happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. The moon message. Powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of the situation. The sun, oh, I love this card. It's like, dun, 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 dun. the time has come. It's judgment day and you are being blessed beyond belief because you deserve it. Plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and accommodations, gratitude for the blessings in life. Yep, write in that gratitude list. And you get this, you're renewed, restored, things coming into balance. 
Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move on in a new direction. This is coming together with your divine partner again, a resurgence, happy family life, or it's meeting your divine partner, but it's judgment day. It's time to move on into this new life. Beautiful. So let's clean these up real quick. I hope you enjoyed that portion. Okay, we're going to use the Moonology cards here, and we're going to get more information on your hopes and dreams coming true, healing that needs to happen. What's advice from the star card? Well, that one just kind of rolled right off, gracefully rolled right off. So go with the flow. Be easy about it. Emotions are running high. No wonder I felt that. Go with the flow. It's like you're on supercharge. Like your emotions are like super, super big right now. And you're feeling everything because you're growing and you're expanding and you're understanding and you're facing your fears. So it's time to get balance on your emotions. Balance your head space and your heart space. Find your inner peace. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Don't let them get out of control. Don't overreact or be too reactive. Take time to go within. Allow yourself to come into balance before you move forward. Be bold and make the first move. For some of you, your emotions are running high because it's that fire within and it's time to be bold and make the first move towards your career, towards a, a partnership of some kind, towards a lover. Whatever it is, it's time to be bold and make the first move towards your dreams. Understand, really look at your emotions, what you're feeling in for different relationships in your life, different aspects. When you think about moving forward into new life, what makes you happy? What makes you feel good? And that's what you make your move on. Look at that. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Stability, strength, security in the material world. Taurus is love beautiful things. This is you loving beautiful things and being able to buy beautiful things. Feeling good. Prosperity is that frog again purification. It might be time for a de detox, letting go of things that aren't serving you so that you can really be fully focused um, on your dreams. Hold your vision. Spirit wants you to hold the vision of your life. Dream bigger. Think of everything wonderful that could ever happen and know that it's going to be even better than that. It might look different. It might be a little different. It might come along differently than you, were, than you originally thought maybe it would, but I am promise you when you hold your vision of love and light and abundance in your life, it will come true. Look at that. A new start is coming. All this new energy, prosperity. I feel love and leveling up spiritually and just uh, uh, hold your vision because a new start is seriously is really coming and have faith in your dreams. How beautiful have faith in your dreams. Have faith that everything is working out for you. Have faith that it's coming true, that your wishes are coming true. Just have faith. It's, it is truly all working out. Have faith in your prosperity and your abundance. Have faith in these new beginnings. Have faith that your emotions and feelings are guiding you somewhere. And so be bold and take charge of your life and, and believe in yourself again. Okay, so we're going to get some information on the moon, which in this reading, I'm going, to, I'm going to deem it the divine feminine within you, or you are the divine feminine, or you're listening in for one. So this is the divine feminine within you, or about the divine feminine herself. I say herself because it feels, you know, female-ish in nature, but you could be a male and connect with the divine feminine, so take it as it resonates. But this is where the divine feminine's at. What's going on with the Divine Feminine as a collective? Look at that. I love it. Yes, Divine Feminine. This is you. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Holding your pentacles. Holding your coin. Feeling abundant. Feeling beautiful. No matter what's going on or what you have and don't have, you are appreciating every little thing. Feeling fancy. Dressing up. The, understanding the magic of life, having that psychic ability because cats are very psychic and connected spiritually, having that companion with you. Maybe you love cats and you have a cat. Um, I want to see pictures. Uh, but anyways, this is a woman holding the coin. I miss my cats. That's why. 
Um, but you're feeling good, abundant, strong, and stable on your own. This is the divine feminine. I know who I am. This is very much empress energy. I am sitting pretty, and I know what I deserve, and I know who I am, and I'm going to go after it. You know, this very compassionate divine feminine, very loving, generous, kind, abundant, knows, you know, makes the right decision, knows what to do, knows what to do next. The divine feminine is taking time to rest and rejuvenate. Ending cycles that are no longer serving the Divine Feminine, going within, finding that truth, and, and really believing in themselves. Yep, at a, knowing that they're at a crossroads, which way do I go? And, and I feel that the Divine Feminine is making the decision and going towards the door of value. The door that makes the Divine Feminine feel the, the best. The path that makes you feel the best. Just like we talked about earlier. What, follow your heart. Follow your joy. It's going to be extremely abundant. Because now you're standing in your power. You're standing in your truth, Divine Feminine. You know how valuable you are. You know how worthy you are. You know how abundant you are. Just in being you. Knowing what you know. That's valuable. Use that to help you move forward in the material world. Things are coming into balance and stability in the material world. Look at that. And we're ending with judgment. And this is the world card. That's the first series I did. I started with the world, actually. And this is 11 new beginnings. So there's new beginnings coming for the Divine Feminine because you've allowed things to complete. This is you traveling the world, uh, getting your message out to the world, feeling valuable in the world. Anything else for the Divine Feminine coming in, completing things? Really have the ability to move in whatever direction you want. And this card really wants to fall out because you know that the door to romance is open and it's up to you to just unlock yourself from the cage and allow your heart to be set free. And I feel like the Divine Feminine is ready to set her heart free. She's ready for these new beginnings in romance and bringing everything into balance, okay? So the angels are working with you to create balance in your life, Divine Feminine. Reminding you that it's important to rest and heal. It's important to write your gratitude list and appreciate everything you have. And remember how valuable you are, how worthy you are. Make the best decisions for yourself that are highest and best for you and your family. Know how valuable you are, that stability is coming in. These ideas that are coming to you in your dreams or visions or meditations are valuable information to help you move forward into these new beginnings. Ending cycles. The world is yours. Brand new beginnings in love, and living in a balanced, stable life spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Beautiful. Your connection to Source is very strong right now, Divine Feminines, and keep that connection going. Keep loving yourself, filling your own cup, and you are bringing this Divine Partner to you. Like I said, the sun and the moon. Okay, what's going on? The wisdom of the house of the night. What's going on with the Divine Masculine right now? during this time highest and best for the general collective what's going on with the divine masculine well it's a lot but they said take it okay the divine masculine has been going through a lot of chaos i'm feeling more so within themselves but some of them their outer world is creating the the chaos and they're trying to get through it it's very it's been tumultuous it's been uh, upheaval, uh, things changing, belief systems changing, perceptions changing, life changing, relationships changing, actually moving uh, and moving away from the chaos. Oh, just feeling a little impatient, denying themselves of the fruit that they deserve, denying themselves of knowing the truth about themselves. This reminds you to not pick the fruit before it's ripe, like before the abundance is ready, feeling a little impatient, feeling like they're done with the chaos. <laughs> they really want to pick that fruit. They really want to, you know, enjoy the fruits of their labors, but something's been going on blocking that or changes or, you know, shit happens kind of a thing. And, and look at that. The divine masculine mirroring the divine feminine, knowing that they they to go within and finding their inner truth, they will emerge a new person. They will emerge with the clarity that they need to move forward. So the divine masculine has really been working on going within, meditating, healing, getting that clarity. And if you haven't been divine masculine, that's key to get through this chaos is really go within and find your answers. Summon that, they're working on summoning their inner power. Summon that inner light, bringing things, look at that, 
31 and 13. 13 is death and rebirth, and then 31 up here. So they're summoning their inner power to open this door to value. They're working on opening the door to value, connecting spiritually, realizing that their spiritual connection and the inner light they have within, the power they have within, is going to create the life that they want in the material world. So they're, they're the magician working on their magic, creating, um, manifesting the, the life of their dreams. Walking on the path towards the grove. Wanting to come together. Threes are all about coming together, celebration. Wanting to sit with their divine feminine on this couch at the end of the, well, at the end of this particular journey. the end, Look at this. It comes under the world card at the end of this cycle where the world is yours and you're both walking the path doing what you need to do, listening to inspired guidance, and this is where you're going to meet. You're going to meet right here in the middle of the magic of the cat, listening to your intuition, listen to yourself, trust yourself. You're on the right path to this divine union. And look at that. The beautiful moon comes out. The divine feminine comes out on the divine masculine spread. So this is the divine masculine coming into balance with the divine feminine within, cutting through the illusions, facing the fears, realizing how magical life is and how magical they really are and moving through the changes in the divine feminine it's important that you keep yourself in balance and you keep yourself in the light because you are guiding the masculine home you are guiding the masculine home look at this okay so these are the last cards in the group for the masculine okay they've been feeling invisible like their word doesn't their what they have to say doesn't matter. They've been like kind of shying away, not speaking their truth. And now they're being enlightened and understand the truth of the universe. Blessings are coming in. Healing's coming in. Information's coming in on how to reach this fulfillment, this partnership. Twos are all about partnerships coming together with their, with their divine partner, a resurgence of the relationship. They're they're reflecting and finding the truth, stepping out of the box, understanding, opening their arms to receive from the universe, receive the blessings, receive the nourishing vital energy. To me, this is a very sensual, sexual, fulfilling, abundant union. And this is what the divine masculine wants. Is what they want, they're working on their wish fulfillment. And their wish fulfillment is sharing their world with their divine feminine. No doubt about it, but I feel like we need a little more clarity for the masculine. I feel like we know where the feminine's at, balanced, making good decisions, feeling valuable, opening their heart again, like, you know, really ready to receive. The divine masculine is going, has been going through, is going through, or soon will go through a little bit of chaos and being denied things that they thought were rightfully theirs and then realizing the truth that they have the power to create their life. They don't have to rely on anybody else. They can create this abundance they can create this you know the wishes coming true and coming together with their divine partner okay here's a little more information uh okay this is why so if you aren't in union yet or you're feeling like not as connected to the person you're with hold yourself strong divine feminines because what's happening for the divine masculine is they're finally feeling like they belong again that they've found a place they're being loyal to themselves loyal to the truth within them loyal to you this is a very loyal partner this is a very loyal partnership where you're going to uh, be in a home together and it's it, you're going to share a home together perhaps you're moving and that's the changes it's another five there's um, at least a couple fives up on the board so there's a lot of changes no there's three five 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 so there's a lot of change happening in the divine masculine's life or the divine masculine within you. And it's time to light that inner fire. Open your heart again, divine masculine. It's new beginnings and feeling like being yourself, being authentic and belonging, finding your like-minded lover, your like-minded friends, your soul family and coming together. If you're, when you're loyal to your path, when you're loyal to your plan, you will receive the guidance. You will receive people coming in coming into your life to help you. You will receive the guidance that you need to move forward. And this is all moving into brand new beginnings of fulfillment and understanding and being at peace with who they are and knowing that if certain things didn't work out, it was for a reason. So they're really taking time to go within. So my recommendation is 
you know, fill your own cup, each of you. Send love to one another. Send love to your soul family, heart space to heart space, because it is a time, powerful time of healing and new beginnings. And to me, this is like the inner fire, that little heart opening their heart again to this love, to this union and really feeling fulfilled. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful synergy. We're going to get um, one last message for this. Bringing it all home from the wisdom deck. And sometimes getting this clarity and this understanding from the universe, this is another message, does feel like chaos within. Okay, so it's just being patient during this time. Everything's being worked out in divine timing. Okay, so we have a few messages coming out as it is Judgment Day. Things are coming to a conclusion. And look, you got a 38 and 39, which so you're on the right path to your destiny. So this is essence, destiny, and centering. So I feel like we're going to read them this way. Okay, let you look at the picture. So this is centering, centering yourself amidst all the chaos and all everything that's going on around you, the eye of the storm being centered in it. Never leave your center. Count your bad points as well as your good. What is good and what is bad are most often purely relative. If you sense a weakness within yourself, explore it. It may become the source of your greatest strength. As you sit like sacred Buddha amid the pandemonium of your life, always remember that the situation or person who has the ability to upset you the most, to pull you off your center, is your greatest teacher in the process of centering. Remember that a focus on negativity can become your addiction. When you center yourself in your power, you release your need for constant distraction from your center. Wow, what a beautiful message that is. This one is essence. And this is 38, so this is 11. This is new beginnings, essence. Life is a school that we move and graduate through, learning many things as we cloak ourselves in environmental knowledge. You are on the warrior's path towards enlightenment, and one day you will peel away this accumulated knowledge like layers of an onion, moving back into the source of your power. When contemplating a Zen garden, you find that the source of your power is the essence of great spirit. We come into this earth walk earth walk as a piece of smashed mirror, every one of us reflecting the light of our God. The experience of life is the process of piecing together those scrambled fragments into one great mandala that reflects back the one source of all beings. At the center of a cyclone, wow, we sit at the point of stillness, the pandemonium of life circulating madly around us, choosing equilibrium, not frenzy. Live life from your center, the essence of you and the essence of the universe's primal moval force are one. Wow. Again, it talks about centering yourself in the eye of the chaos and the eye of the storm, finding peace within it, choosing to be balanced instead of out of whack and all over the place. Beautiful way to bring it home, spirit. And also talks a lot about standing in your power. This is your destiny. 12 adds up to a 3, coming together, coming together with your divine partner is your destiny. Oh, and here's the picture, destiny. This beautiful flower is you growing amongst, you know, all by, all by yourself, and there's that little pentacle in the middle, abundance. Your act of power is the key to your destiny. Like a sacred flute player enticing your truth of spirit out into the light of day, own your power because you are made of power. An act of power comes from a place of passion within your deepest being. It's an expression of your totality of who you are in the world. To find your act of power is to live your dreams. What would you do if you could do anything? Discover that is and discover what that is and then do it to find your power is to find your destiny beautiful i love it 
You're rising above. You're taking your power back, standing in your power, feeling at peace. Even if everyone else is feeling the chaos, you are feeling the key, the peace because you found the peace within, the balance within, and it is exuding out into the world. You're feeling confident, strong, and it's time to step into your power. It's time to go after your dreams. It's time to believe in yourself again, and it's time for new beginnings in love, in life, in your health, in leveling up spiritually. It's a beautiful, beautiful time for union within and sharing that union with others, with like-minded people, your soul family, your divine partner, your twin flame. I really enjoyed doing this with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. And if you're interested in different kinds of series or looking at things in different aspects, please let me know because I would love to do that for you. Because as you learn, I learn. As you grow, I grow. And then as we grow and expand, the universe grows and expands. And that's how it works. We're all in this together. And I thank you and I wish you many blessings for supporting me and liking and subscribing and commenting and sharing. It's all a beautiful thing. Thank you.